If you're feeling overwhelmed by all these attributes that you have to add to our third-party cookie issuing scripts as well as our fins with cookie consent script and you don't know how to delete these no script tags and all that, well, worry not, we have a tool that's gonna help you with that. We built the fins with cookie oven so that you can configure your cookie consent visually. It will also help you format all the third-party cookie issuing scripts in the right way so that you can simply copy and paste them right into Webflow. So let's bake some cookies. Now we're going to head over to our custom code section where we have our third-party cookie issuing scripts and we're going to start from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this Google Analytic script and we're going to head over to our cookie oven. Here, we're gonna simply paste the script. And here we can visually select to which category this script belongs to. So the cookie that the Google Analytics script is gonna issue belongs to Analytics. We simply click that and we can bake our cookies. Now, here are more third-party cookie issuing scripts listed so that you can categorize them in the right way and you know to which category they belong to, all right? This is just for inspiration, just to help you out. All right, once this is baked, you're gonna see that these attributes have been added. Type equals FSCC and FSCC categories equals analytics, as well as the second script here, the same thing was added. All right, now all we have to do is copy this to our clipboard and head over to our Webflow custom code section. We're gonna delete this script that we had before and we're gonna paste it with the attributes applied. Now, we're gonna do the same thing for Facebook Pixel. We're gonna simply copy this and you'll notice at the bottom here, we also have this no script tag, which is not GDPR compliant. So we're gonna head back to our cookie consent uh, our cookie oven, we're gonna paste this in here. And this is again falling in the same category of analytics and marketing as well, depending on what you're using it for. And yeah, let's say this time I wanna add marketing. I simply have to bake the cookies and you'll see that this no script tag got deleted just as it should. And this script tags here have the right attributes applied. All right, we're gonna copy this again and we're gonna head back to Webflow. I'm gonna paste this in here. And now the last thing we have to add here is our FinSuite cookie consent script. So we can do that visually as well. So we're gonna click here on FinSuite cookie consent script. And here we can choose which cookie consent option we're having on our site. If we're having option two, we select option two. If we're having option three, we select option three. Here we can add an API endpoint if we wanna store the consent somewhere. I'm having one, so I'm just gonna select that. And I can change the number of days that our consent will need to expire. So let's say I can change it to 190 if I wanted to for some reason. Also, I can turn on debug mode for visual debugging here as well. All I have to do now, once I'm happy with my configuration, is click on Bake Cookies, copy this to the clipboard, and head back to Webflow. Now, this script I'm gonna paste here at the top, like so. And now, if I save our changes, this should be good to go. We can publish this and that's it. Now you'll notice with the cookie consent script, the same thing happened. We added all these attributes that we need to add in order for our configuration to work. All right, let's look at our published site. And as you can see here, we're having our cookie consent working. We can turn things off and on if we refresh our page. it's still gonna remember our preferences. All right, I hope you found this video helpful and that you're gonna have another powerful no-code tool in your arsenal right now. Cheers.
Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.